All right, so I recently just did a top 10 video talking about comfortable sneakers and this shoe made that list, which is the On Cloud Monster. One of the shoes that I was like, dude, this is the best experience that I've had on my feet with the On Running brand. And this really is a game changer if you're looking for more of a max cushion sneaker from On Running. However, they also have this new model here that's now i'm like man it's going to change the dynamic of my like top 10 list again the next video the next update that i'm going to have for 2023 because we have the cloud surfer and i'll tell you there's probably three key reasons why i feel like this is a better model at least for my feet than even the on cloud monsters both of them are very good shoes on feet however uh the on cloud surfer just matches my expectations from a casual perspective and really just is more in line with what i personally prefer in comfort sneakers especially with a nice stack of cushioning so in this video i'll give you guys three reasons why i think that this shoe is a little bit better than the cloud monster so let's go ahead and get right in so for reference on price on both of these sneakers the on cloud surfer is actually a little bit cheaper at 160 dollars versus the cloud monsters that retail at 170 so first things first the price alone is just a little bit more lucrative with the 160 60 versus 170. I'm one of those people and I'm sure you guys are as well where it's like the more expensive the item is means usually it's a little bit better but in this case uh, for my tailored needs this version is better and it is the cheaper model. So one of the main reasons why is because the updated midsole technology of this. This one says that it is the cloud tech phase versus the monsters that just have the cloud tech. This is like a newer version. The cloud monster has been out for quite a while and this is a little bit of a newer version, meaning they've also revamped the midsole quite a bit and made this just a little bit better overall, in my opinion, a little bit softer in hand, a little bit softer and squishier to touch, but the overall feeling and sensation on feet is quite good as well. The heel squish on this model is really, really nice. Something that I noticed immediately after I put on also the forefoot squish is something that I found extremely nice as well. One thing that they changed on the midsole composition on the surface versus the monsters is there is the speed board on the monsters that is a kind of a plate right here on the bottom of the shoe. It's kind of just a firmer plate and they removed that on this version, which makes it a little bit softer on feet. I'm sure the plate had functionality maybe for more of a running uh, sort of shoe, but for the surfer, like honestly, this is kind of more of a casual for me at least, and it really feels noticeably softer on feet because of the removal of that board. And another reason why I feel like this is a better option for casual, at least in my opinion and my feet, is the overall shape of the cloud tech in general on the midsole is different. Like the design is a little bit angled instead of these columns that are completely flat and the angle actually gives it a little bit better heel toe transition in my opinion uh, versus the other pair. So it's something I definitely noticed Heel toe transition is really smooth and soft and squishy in this model. Something that I honestly always look for. Big shout out to Phil for sending me the Cloud Surfers. He sent me these watching some of my content knowing like I like softer and squishier sneakers. And this one was the one that I think that he thought was probably the best fit for me. And dude, he nailed it. It is, really is that good of a shoe. If you're interested in buying them, I'll link them over to Dick Sporting Goods. I don't have an affiliation with On Running, but Dick Sporting Goods, you can use my affiliate link in the description. I get a little bit of a kickback when you guys do use that. But the shoe overall is softer, squishier, as well as like a smoother heel toe transition from a casual perspective and overall that would probably be enough to make this shoe better uh, and even the, the $10 lower price tag however there are a couple features about these that I still like better than the cloud monsters and that is first the tongue of the shoe the fact that you have a regular padded mesh tongue honestly it's simple it's simplistic it's perfect. Like I like having like a semi gusseted tongue, one that basically comes up to right here that's fixed on the bottom of the shoe. And then you have a nice fitting tongue that's loose and also very padded. Really nice addition there, but it's also a lot plusher around the collar of the shoe, a lot more padding. Personally, I like the extra cushioning here. This is just the right amount of cushioning to make it extra soft and pillowy. The Cloud Monsters have a pretty rigid tongue, to be honest, even though it's not noticeably bad or anything like that on foot. But when you put them on side by side, I'm like, okay, I like the plushness of the Cloud Server is a little bit better than the Monsters. The other major difference, and it's gonna be a matter of opinion, again, for you guys out there, depending on what you like, but personally, I really like the upper and the toe box section of the surfers versus the clouds. Like it really has a nice double mesh on the toe box, but the cloud surfers just felt a little bit softer, a little bit more breathable on feet. And for a relaxed sort of dude, I like the relaxed fit of the upper, the breathability of the mesh, the softness of the midsole, the heel toe transition, the support is there as well. The overall experience on feet for these is just outstanding. Honestly, it's one of those shoes that really is going to be a max cushion contender for the year. And I've already done max cushion sneakers for this year. I'll probably have to do an updated one again soon. If you guys want to see that, leave a comment because some of the ones that are out there nowadays, it's just, it's so amazing the cushioning technologies and where we're at right now. It's 
like far and away better than it was five, 10 years ago. And I feel like it's only gonna get better from here. Now I feel like On Running has really nailed it with this model for me on the casual. If you want something firmer, their regular stuff is a lot firmer on feet. When I tried on my first pair of On Running shoes, it says Cloud Tech and On Cloud X, I think the model was. You step on them and it feels more like a rock. Like the, the columns are not soft and squishy feeling even though they do collapse a little bit. They just don't feel very soft because of the, I think maybe the strobo board or something like that inside of them. Any which way, this shoe is by far and away a tenfold better if you're looking for that soft squishy feel and it hits the max cushioning in just the right capacity it makes me wonder though where is the limit like how big of a cushion stack are we going to be able to get to without having risk of toppling over or anything like that but as for now where we are with the cushioning technologies out there it's just incredible and this is one of those shoes that as soon as i got them i threw them on feet i wore them two three four days before i wanted to do a review uh, because honestly it was just a fun shoe to be able to wear and it's a very summer ready pair of sneakers this is one of those shoes that i might take with me to mexico because i'm going to mexico uh, here in a bit and you know, I need a vacation sneaker. This might be the one that I take. It seems like a very nice colorway as well with that mint and the orange. Definitely like that. But big shout out to Phil for sending these over. Again, he sent them over, but the video is not sponsored by On and they don't control anything I say about the product. It's just my own honest opinion. And for you guys that think that I'm just like fluffing it up because I got them for free, leave a comment in the comment section. If you tried the model, and you like them or dislike them, leave a comment and let other people know how correct I am or how wrong I am about uh, the model in your own opinion. But again, these ones hands down better than what you have with the Monsters, but that's not to say that the Monsters are a bad purchase. The shoe is like tenfold above the average competition out there. I would take the Cloud Monsters over a pair of like Pegasus 40s or something like that, even though that's not really fair because the 40s are significantly cheaper than these. It's just a good shoe is what I'm trying to say. And to have this shoe elevated that much more above my opinion on this shoe, just means that this is a really good shoe. So definitely check it out if you guys are interested. Link in the description will take you over to Dick's Sporting Goods if you guys want to buy a pair. But uh, super impressed with what they have and like the colorway that he chose to send over as well. And overall, this is one of those brands that I'm excited to see the evolution of uh, from the first pair that I tried on the channel years ago to now. Like this is this is quite incredible. So anyways, thanks for stopping by and watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I cover a lot of sneaker cushioning videos on this channel. Uh, something I personally have a, a passion project for. But anyway, hopefully you have a good rest of the day and hopefully we'll see you back for some more videos soon. All right, peace guys.